God damn it. Fine, whatever. Now we're gonna fuck up. Now with the power of the elemental stones, the gate will open. Hello. With the power of the moon's the crystal, Lunaro, you are under my control. And the power of the sun, crystal, Solarin, you will obey my order. Lunaro, fight with Solarin. Prove you are the strongest. Prove that Team Lun are, are the superior team. Solarin, show your power and beat Lunaro. Team Solar's power will be unbeatable. That's not looking too good. What's up guys, welcome back to Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we made our way here to... Or actually, no, we went to the Subhail Ice Caps and then proceeded to take on a few gym trainers in the Subhail City Gym. Unfortunately, we lost Ellie, our <clears throat> Huskold, uh, in a uh, one of the gym trainer fights, and I'm really sad. So, I decided to add a new member of the squad and then do some grinding. I forgot how horrible grinding is in this game. Um, it's very slow. Um, the Pokemon give off, like, little to no experience, no matter where I went, so that was awful. Um, I wanted to try to get uh, Edward, Bob, and um, Sally, the newest member of the squad, up to level 60. That didn't happen. Um, the grinding just took too long, and um, I need to record this video. So. We are going to do a quick little team recap, just to show off the squad a little. First off, we got our newest member of this squad, Sally the Steelberg. It was a um, Iceil Coal uh, before, and it has evolved. Level 58, Hasty Nature with the Thick Fat ability, Rock and Ice Fang, Super Fang, Body Slam, and Aqua Tail. Then we got Bob the Babush, level 59, Quiet Nature with the Grass Pelt ability, Rock and Leaf Storm, Body Slam, Headbutt, and Charm. Up next, we got Edward the Budsaur, level 58, Timmy Nature with the Big Pex ability, Rock and Chatter, Roost, Work Up and Round. Then we got Lunape the Lunape, level 66, Lax Nature with the Simple ability, Rock and Extra Sensory, Dark Matter, Moon Blast, and Cosmic Power. Then we got Clint the Dothlap, level 63, Adam and Nature with the Infiltrator ability, Rock and Drive, Hydro Pump, U Turn, and Bounce. And finally, we got John the Terexi, level 64, Bold Nature with the Fire Fang, er, with the Flash Fire ability, Rock and Fire Fang, Rock Slide, Stone Edge, and Dragon Dance. So. <clears throat> that is our squad. Before we start this gym, I need to go get a few more of our potions, because I need some potions. But yeah, so grinding is really bad in this game. It's just not, it's like probably the worst part about this game. One of the worst parts about this game. I've said multiple times, multiple different worst parts about this game. But you know what? It's fine. Whatever. But I also wanted to, um, real quickly, for once in my life, pat myself on the back real quick as I manage to get um, Soil Light and Lunar Dark up today. Today being Thursday, and it came, it went up along with, um, what you call it? Explorers of Sky, because I had the free time with not having, um, work today to record, edit, and upload all of them. So, I got incredibly lucky, <clears throat> and I'm really glad that it worked out. So, you know, hopefully we can start doing that. Um, hopefully if we have days we miss... We'll be able to uh, do some bulk recording. This thing is a ice steel type, so I'm just gonna click Aqua Tail on it. But Sally is like a super bulky mod, and it is great. And having Thick Fat's even better, even though I quad resist um, ice type moves, so it's kind of useless for that specifically. It just makes the moves do even less damage, so I will take what I can get. Anywho, um, back to the whole, you know, being able to record. I'm going to try to use my days off to um, bulk record, or just record like an episode or two. I currently, I don't know if you guys can hear it, you guys might be able to hear it, I do have my fan on right now. Um, basically, um, so, uh, last episode, I had my fan on, and luckily enough, um, I was able to get the fan noise kind of out with Audacity, so it sounded, like, more or less, it sounded fine, um, in the episode now hopefully it'll sound the same um this episode and you won't be able to hear it but i'm not 100 percent sure if it will or not um i'm really hoping it will because i don't want to have to like worry about the fan being too loud um before i actually did any real that was a crit and i lived on one hp dude okay so what are you an electric type ice electric you look like you're the Pika clone of this, uh, this generation, so I'm gonna leave. 
Frost Breath, that's fine. But, um... I almost, like, I almost died and now I'm, like, just not ready for it. But, um, before I actually did any real editing with my videos, um, I, like, my first, like, two or three Nuzlocks, um, I would have my fan on while I recorded, and it was very loud. Like, you could hear it throughout the entire episode. And, uh, it was probably one of my biggest pet peeves with that. And then I started actually, like, editing with Audacity. Um, I want to say... I didn't start editing with Audacity until after, let's see, I didn't start editing with Audacity until the start of, um, what you call it, it has a name, um, Sacred Gold, or Storm Silver, the Storm Silver Egg Lock, because when I started it, um, it was the first video, it was the first time I recorded with OBS because I was recording with my webcam. So, obviously, I needed um, OBS for that. So, I fucked up again, dude. It's, like, astonishing how bad I am at this. But, you know, I started recording with my webcam. Originally, uh, what I did was I recorded with Audacity and OBS. So, I had my webcam and my gameplay recording it um, on the same, like, instance of OBS. So, it was just, like, you know, the webcam was just in the corner of it. So, it didn't really look that good. And it made it hard to... Um, like do you know the big the edits of like zooming in on my face cam and stuff because you if I didn't zoom in enough or if I try to do like you know like zooming in um, on the face cam or zooming out or something like that it would just be the entire gameplay so you know it was kind of like yeah but anywho I'm rambling so we're gonna continue welcome to the sub hail city gym wait you're that trainer that helped me in the frost hail forest huh I should have known well, as you know, my name is Alice. I'll, I'm the gym leader here. I specialize in ice type Pokemon. They can, they can be fragile, or they can be study, they can be sturdy and strong. Each battle is a new experience, so let's make this one nev one to never forget. All right, so we're gonna start off with uh, Johnny Boy. And we're gonna go with Lune, and then Sally, followed by Clint, and that's gonna be the four Pokemon we use. I completely forgot that we went through the. Um, the forest, and I tried to catch a mon th in it, and obviously I ended up killing it last episode. So I'm kind of glad that was the case because I think I caught a mon in there. Um, at some point, I think I caught a mon, but you know I'm glad I didn't catch that. And even if I didn't catch it, or even if like polar pow, polar pow, you sound like you're a fighting type. I'm skadoodling. It's a fighting type. I'm like just so smart. I'm gonna just extrasensory you into hell. Now, I just wanted to point out, um, Ice Body was the most annoying thing we had to deal with while we were grinding. Almost every Pokemon on that route, ooh, every almost every Pokemon on that route had Ice uh, Ice Body, and it hails in the Ice Caps. So I was basically like doing a ha almost half the damage that I um, should have been doing. So. That was kind of annoying. I'm going to click Cosmic Tower real quick. I need to get my stats up. Because Frost Claw is kind of scary. Like, that was a lot of damage, and that was plus two. So... Oh my god. The hail stopped. Interesting. Uh, anywho. I need to heal up. Can this thing stop? I forgot this thing had punishment. It's evolution. It's evolutions all had punishment. So, I need a plus six. Like, even a plus six will hurt, like, a punishment will hurt. I don't know, does, punishment doesn't ignore stats. But it's still doing a shit ton of damage, so it's kind of scary. I don't think punishment ignores stats, stat changes. No, it doesn't, because... But, like, me plus six, that thing's still doing a lot of damage. Like, I need this Polar Pal gone. Gone. He needs to go. I don't want to risk out of nowhere being outsped and losing Lunape, because if I lose Lunape... At this point, I feel like I'm kind of fucked, because Lunape is my big red button, and if I don't have Lunape, I'm more or less, like, I have to make sure that the rest of my mods can survive to take something out, so, you know, it's a little worrying, but Huskold, now, Huskold's not that, like, much of an attacker, and I'm plus six right now, so, like, even if Sucker Punch won't do that much, yeah, I swallowed that, but Polar Power is apparently a big threat, because it was actually, like, what? At least, like, 10 to 12 levels below me, and it was still doing a bunch of damage to Lunape. 
So that thing is scary. I kind of want a Polar Bell now. And I'm sad that I don't have one. But Huskold, uh, unfortunately, you're going to have to die just like Maya Huskold last episode. So it's fun. It's so fun. Christwing, you are most definitely a bug type. I am playing with fire right now if this thing clicks like... Okay, I'm plus six and everything, so it's fine. As long as this thing doesn't have, like, Quiver Dance, then I should be good. So I'm gonna just extra sensory everything and kill you. Now, this is the second gym now in a row that I've just set up with Lunape so I can't be touched and then proceeded to sweep their entire team. So, that's kind of good news. We're kind of, you know, pulling... We're, we're taking out the gyms, but Lunape is just getting ridiculous leveled ups because of it. So... Well, it looks like you won that battle. You were a great opponent. As proof of your victory, you have earned this. So that is the Polar Batch. That is gym number seven. We are very close to the end of this series. If I had to guess, we're probably going to do literally every bit of Team Solar and Team Lunar thing shit like for the next episode or two. And this is for you too. Frostclaw. Frostclaw is a physical ice type move. Good luck on the rest of your journey, Nick. You only have one badge to go until you enter the Pokemon League. I'm sure you can do it. All right, watch. We're going to walk out here. We're going to be confronted by, like, Rodney. Yeah, I, f I knew it. I, it's like it's like I spoke it into existence. Oh, it's you, Nick. So you won the Polar Badge, too. That's great. Now we just have to beat Wade and we're in the Pokemon League. Oh, that's right. Professor Pinewood called me in while you were having your gym battle. He needs us to get back to Sario Town as soon as we can. We can leave together, but I'll heal your Pokemon. They, they had a hard battle. I thought he said, I'm going to battle him. And I was going to be like, I just battled you, dude. Nah. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, my bud store can take us to Sorio Town. I fucking knew it! I knew it was gonna happen. So, we're, he we're here. I wonder what the professor... Oh. What? What's going on here? Rodney, Nick, help us! Commanders, they have arrived. About time. We've been waiting for you. Nick, how can we fight them all? There's too many of them. But wait, why are they working together? Well, neither team has a full set of stones, so either team can realize their their goal. So just this ti last time we're working together, only to release the legendary Pokemon out of their prison. Then we'll let them fight, and let and that will prove who's the strongest team. Both teams have two stones each, and you're there. You have the core stone, and we need it. So hand it over now. Nick, don't do it. Hey, keep it keep it quiet, or else. Nick. We can't do this. If they release a legendary Pokemon, they'll wreak havoc on the region. There'll be so much destruction. How about this? If you hand over the core stone, your precious professor and your little friend won't get hurt. We'll be okay. Don't give it to them. Say one more word. So please, hand, it o hand over the core stone so we can get this underway. Nick, I, I don't think we have a choice. If we don't, the professor and Kira will get hurt, but if we do, what shall we do? You really don't have a choice. Now place the stones on the now place the stones on the pillar so the gate will open. The earth stones, it's on. The vault stone, we're so close. The wind stone, just two more to go. The sea stone, now it's time for the last boy. Walk up to the last pillar, Nick. You've already made your decision. I haven't made this decision. You have no choice. They'll hurt Kira. Please help us. I don't want them to hurt the professor. Take one false step, and this girl will get hurt. God damn it. Fine, whatever. Now we're gonna fuck up. Now with the power of the elemental stones, the gate will open. Hello. With the power of the moon's the crystal, Lunaro, you are under my control. And the power of the sun, crystal, Solarin, you will obey my order. Lunaro, fight with Solarin. Prove you are the strongest. Prove that Team Lun are the superior team. Solarin, show your power and beat Lunaro. Team Solar's power will be unbeatable. That's not looking too good. What's happening? What's going on, Professor? Their fighting is disrupting the day cycle of the world. Solarin's power over light and Lunaro's power over darkness are clashing with each other. They match in strength and power. This battle will not have a winner. Everyone will lose. Both teams. Both Pokemon. All of us. We can't let that happen. Oh no, I, it was too late. Rex, what do we do? We fight. We stop them if we don't. The region will be destroyed, and after that, the whole world. We can't let that happen. I have the balance crystal. This will help us. This crystal can be used to summon a legendary Pokemon called Celent. Research leads us to find that this Pokemon has power to soothe, to calm everything. 
If we summon it, it can help us and can stop them from fighting each other. Oh, hello. Sullens, please hear me. We need your help. We need your power. Without you, the region will be destroyed. Please help us. Is that Sullens? It is. It's going to help us. Okie dokie. Is it working? This is a lot of, like, dialogue. This entire episode is going to be dialogue. It, it doesn't look like it is. What's going on? The crystals! The moon and sun crystals are controlling them. They have no free will. We need to get those crystals away from the leaders. Right, Nick, let's get the crystals. Hey, don't even think about it. We can't- you can't do anything to stop us. Nick, we'll hold them back. You get the crystals. Nick, I'll be sure to get balanced crystals safe. Get the other two crystals. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose this battle. So, um, to save face, we're going to put John and Lunape up front. And pray that we aren't going to lose. So, hi, yoink, yoink. No, okay. You pesky, you pesky kid. Do you really think you can get in your way? Uh, get in our way? It's over for you. This world is under our control. Yikes! This is how it ends. Well, what the fuck are you? Hello? I'm gonna cosmic power. We're gonna just set up. Foul play. Oh no. I need a Cosmic Power more. Now, Cosmic Power does more damage the more the higher my attack is, but it does, like, I still will kind of swallow the hits, and I'd rather not go into somebody who has a high attack, because it'll probably still do a bunch of damage, so I'm not going to risk it for the biscuit. I'm going to just plus three real quick, or plus six, and um, these things will now never hurt me, ever in my life. And we're gonna have to big red button this out of the way. Like, we are... Lunape is obviously very high leveled. So we're gonna have to, like... It doesn't affect Swampy. Swampy is indeed... Um, a dark type. I have Moonblast, so... Fuck you. And, wow, that's a lot of damage. Whirlpool. What are you, Grass Dark? Why do you have Whirlpool? Interesting, okay. You know what, Moonblast will kill you, it doesn't matter. Yoink! Okay, now... I'm gonna just, you know, let Lunape, you know, do his thing. Are you a dark type too? You're not a dark type. Okay. You're a bug type. Wait, does bug resist? No, fairy resist bug. That's what it is. Extrasensory. Die. Oh shit. And it cursed body. Okay. Infestation's gonna be annoying because that's gonna do a set amount of damage. And I'm fucked. So, we're gonna just have to hope for the best. At least, I'm gonna have an actual intro moment for an episode for once. Uh, I've had a few episodes I haven't had intro moments because there's like nothing happens that's like intro moment worthy. And it's kind of like, I'd rather not, I, it's like, do I just waste time and just make a, you know, a um, intro moment of something that's like not really intro moment worthy? I don't know, man. I, my life, like, it's just all over the place. So, you know, that's just, that's my, that's my life story. But anywho, rambling's done. We're just gonna keep kicking these guys' asses, and maybe we'll be able to catch uh, the uh, the legendaries. Because if I can e either just, we'll probably either only to hello. Okay, that looks kind of cool, actually. And it intimidated me. Interesting. Okay. Um, Phantom grip. That does nothing because I don't fear anything. I'm gonna dark matter you because you're a ghost type. And my accuracy fell two stages. Okay. That's gonna be bad, because... Oh, wait, no. Um, Dark Matter never misses, so... See, it's a good thing I never switched Dark Matter for Shadow Ball. I almost did multiple times, but... If Lunape's accuracy ever goes down, I'm, like, fucked, so... I'd rather keep Dark Matter and just kill it. So... Good work, team. Is that Derek out? Nope, he still has a Trollger. What is a Trollger? My, att my physical attack is just non-existent right now, so yeah, fun, but and my accuracy is down two stages, so that's even worse. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna have to moonblast this thing, and I'm gonna miss all my moonblasts, but I can't switch out. Like I just can't. So I have to hope that I can hit some kind of attack with my. Okay, there we go. <sighs> almost killed it. It almost killed it, and now I'm never gonna hit another fucking. I'm not gonna hit another moon blast for the rest of this fucking battle. Was that quad effective? Because this thing's using both dark type and fighting type moves. And I feel like. Oh, I hit it. Okay. You know what? That's fine. 
I've been rambling this entire battle, and I really don't know what I'm saying or what I'm doing, so I apologize if you guys are being forced to, like, kind of listen to this, which you are, because, like, I'm just kind of spouting nonsense. So, yeah. Anywho, you should be a little easier to fight because you're just fire types, and fire types aren't really that scary. And I can still just cosmic power everything. Atomatrix, you are annoying because you're a steel type. Um... I'm going to go into John real quick. We're going to hope and pray that John can swallow some hits. That wasn't swallowing as much as I was hoping, but a fire fang can it one-shot. He can one-shot. Perfect. Now, John could probably sweep everything if I dragon dance, but I don't want to have to risk it. And also, there might be some ground types here. So, I think this thing's fire bug. So, I'm going to just get my defenses up. Lava plume. And it burns me. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just keep cosmic powering. You know, the the same strat. Like, it's just the best idea. Do I have any full restores on me? I don't have any full restores on me. I used that one full restore I had because I got paralyzed mid battle and I was annoyed. So, in that case, I'm gonna just hyper potion up and I'm gonna full heal and we'll be on our merry way. <clears throat> Not that the burn really matters because. I'm a special attacker, not a physical attacker, but I don't need that set damage killing me when I get critted and live on like 2 HP. So, better safe than sorry. I'm gonna get plus six real quick. There we go. And now we're just gonna, you know, kill everything in our sight. Because nothing can hurt us. Extra sensory is not one-shotting everything like I hope it would. But, you know, Lunape's just gonna get like three levels up in this one battle. Psytrick. Oh, you look interesting. You're clearly a psychic type, so that means I can click uh, Dark Matter on you and, like, two-shot you. Three-shot you, maybe. Let's find out. I mean, these, these battles are a little mediocre, but again, that's probably because my Pokemon are so goddamn overleveled. Lunape is just, like, so high-leveled compared to everyone. He's, like, you know, anywhere from 10 to 12 levels ahead of everyone. So, you know... It is what it is, but, like, I need my big red button. Oh, you're the Mega this game. Ooh, you look cool. I kind of like you. Uh, Dark Matter was not very effective, so are you a Steel-type now? <clears throat> you're a Steel-type now. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to keep going for the extra sensories because I'm not switching out. I'm not doing it. And she should have one Mon after this. And we should be fine. This episode's already gone by so fast. It's 22 minutes, and we've just basically done a... Um, you know, all we've done is a fucking gym battle, and then, like, we're just doing the rest of the story for... Um, Team Solar and Team Lunar. Like, this is basically all we're doing. Just slightly disappointing. It's slightly disappointing because of the fact that I was really hoping that it would be, like... You know, reminiscent of the other games, where it's, like... You fight them, and it's kind of like you fight team. Like, the final confrontation with most evil teams is a pretty big, like, kind of multi, like, step thing. But I don't know. Ah, you little brat. How can a kid cause so much trouble? Nick, get the crystals, get them. Yoink. Hey, get back here. How dare you? Nope. Calm yourselves. Now, let's command them to stop fighting. Selens, please now, soothe them with your light. It worked! No! Lunara, wake up and defeat Solaren! Show the world your power! Solaren, you're not weak! Wake up! It's over! Selens, send them away where they can't be found! Keep them away from each other! Okay, yoink. I like how it's just like one little corner of the screen gets like flashed to black or whatever. It took the crystals too! Now they can't be controlled! It's, o it's over, Team Solar, Solar and Team Lunar! The legendary Pokemon can't be controlled by you anymore! It's all over! No, it can't be. Mother. This... This can't be it. All of our plans, all of our efforts. Father. W what do we do now? It's over. No one wins. Let's get out of here before the police arrive. Oh, the grunts are gone. Mother, we need to go now. Father. We can't get caught. We can fix this. Please, we need to go. That's his father? And that's her mother? The police are almost here. We need to get out of here. Sorry, Marcus. 
But I don't want to get be locked up. I'm leaving. Hey, get back here. You need to pay for your crimes. Mother. Father, we are, why aren't you listening to me? We need to leave. You, stop right there. Father, can't you hear me? I'm leaving now. Mother, I'll come back for you. Oh, there they go. You two are under arrest. You'll pay for your crimes in the cells of Crestlight City Police. The leader of Team Solar and Team Lunar were arrested and brought to the cells of Crestlight City Police. After the scenery was cleared, the Professor, Rex, and your friends have talked in front, in, in front of the gate where the legendary Pokemon Solar and Lunar are trapped. Interesting. It's all over. We did it! We stopped them! That was so scary, but I'm so happy. Thank you, all of you. Without your help, the region would have been destroyed. Anytime, Rex. So we can carry with our journey now. Without having to worry about those teams, so I, now I can finally focus on training. Oh yeah, we need to battle Wade for our last gym battle. Then we can enter into the Pokemon League. Yes, I'm so excited. Let's promise to meet up soon for a battle. I'm gonna get go get training. I still need to get my seventh badge after all. Rodney, Nick, I promise we will meet at we will meet at the Pokemon League, and I'll be tough opponent for you. I expect nothing else for you, Kira. You're a very talented Pokemon trainer. <laughs> don't fl don't flatter me, Rodney. I'll see you at the leaks, guy. Guys, I don't know. Well, the, the dialogue is like, kind of like the grammar is a little, yeah. Nick, I'm heading down to Wade Tide City now. The sooner I get my last badge, the sooner I'll be at the league. I'll catch you there. <laughs> you have some great friends, Nick. Even after all this, <laughs> you three will still have the energy and determination to succeed. You deserve a reward. I know. Here, take this. Master Ball. Ye this is a special kind of Pokeball. It's called a Master Ball. It has a 100% capture rate, so whatever Pokemon you catch, it will catch it no matter what. Well, I need to get back to the Pokemon League. I hope to see you there, Nick. Actually, I have a feeling you'll battle in the future. That's oh, gonna fuck up my voice. Thank you for your help, Nick. My scientists took the elemental stones and will be studying them in the lab in Sultry Town. I'll keep them safe and I'll make sure Amber knows who I have the core stone with me, too. Rex handed me over the balance crystal, too. I wonder why Selens didn't look, didn't take the crystal like the other two. Maybe a safeguarding for the future. We never find out. Now, please go on with your journey. Get your last badge. I'm sure the battle with your brother will be an explosive one. Good luck. I'm heading back to my laboratory. Goodbye. All right. Well, that was successful. That was that was. Uh, if I could speak words, that was a very successful end to a very anticlimactic evil team stuff. So. I give it like a uh, six out of ten, I guess. I don't know. I feel like we didn't do enough, like actual, really much with the evil team, so it's kind of like an iffy thing, and it wasn't that big of a climax. But then again, I'm like comparing it to the likes of like, you know, uh, Team Galactic with the, um, you know, going up Mount Coronet to the Spear Pillar, doing all the Dialga Palkia and or Giratina with the Distortion World, or like the likes of Team Flare with their, you know evil weapon like team flare wasn't that great of a team but like their final confrontation was actually kind of cool or like you know the aether paradise you know a lot of shit with that um gen 3 both team aqua and team magma you go through their secret bases you know you know, like you watch them revive their legends and then you have to go and fight their legends and then in emerald you have to go get Rayquaza. Like, a lot, like, it, it feels like this was a very anticlimactic thing, but, you know, I'm not going to judge. It's a fan game. Obviously, they don't have that much time to do all that stuff. So, I'm going to give them the benefit, of the benefit of the doubt. I would definitely say it was good for their, like, what they had to work on. So, you know, I'll take it. But, I think with that, we should end the episode here, you guys. We are literally probably, like, right at the end of this uh, series. I was kind of expecting us to do more stuff with the evil team than we did. So... We probably are going to take on the HM next episode and then head to the Pokemon League. We'll probably get to the Pokemon League by the end of the next episode. So, um, this episode, this series is getting cl way closer to being finished than I thought it would. So, we might have to rely a little on Explorers of Sky more than I was expecting while I finished the layout for the All-Star Run. But, I guess with that, um, that'll be the end of the uh, this episode of Solar and Lunar Dark. So... In the next episode, we will be taking on the Ake Gym. I'm going to try to do some grinding to get everyone a little caught up. Obviously, uh, Lunape is going to just be way too high leveled. I'm going to get the rest of them to 65 or somewhere along those lines. I definitely need to get Edward, Sally, and Bob 
up a little because they have been just not used at all. Or well, you know, Bob and Edward have not been used at all. So, anywho, with my rambling all over, I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you do smash like button. If you want to subscribe to Fonzie PC Party, see your friends following Twitter, PC Bowmaster, and the Discord links down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a comment, subscribe. I'm PC Bowmaster, and I'll see you guys next time.